Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in the new ScreenFlow 8. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a new feature called Track Thumbnail. So if you look down in the timeline now, this is the default view in ScreenFlow that we're used to. There's one thumbnail at the beginning, so you can glance at that and know what's on that track. And you can see little audio waveforms. In this default view, if I want to jump to another part in the video, I take the scrubber and I just scrub through here and look for a part of the video that I'm looking for. So with the new track thumbnail feature turned on, you can see now if I look at that track, instead of just that one thumbnail at the beginning where I have to scrub through to find a spot, I can just glance at this and I get a really easy visual representation of everything that's on the video. So if I want to jump to that part that I did before, all I need to do is drag my scrubber right there and I'm good to go. To turn on the new track thumbnail in ScreenFlow 8, all you need to do is come down here to these icons and choose this first one with a little image symbol there. So you have some options here, no thumbnail. You're not gonna see anything at the beginning. And if you have this unchecked, you will see nothing on those tracks. The single thumbnail, that's kind of the default view where there's one thumbnail in the beginning. And again, you have the choice to show the waveforms or not. Then this last one, track thumbnail, that is gonna put a little visual icon or a screenshot of everything that's in the video, making it really easy to just jump to a particular spot in the video by glancing at the track. So my name is Mike Murphy. That is the new track thumbnail and the new ScreenFlow 8. Cheers. Mm -hmm.